what's going on this is paul with sizzling arrow so today we're going to do just a quick rundown of my opinion of the best way to get youngsters started into handgun shooting or just new shooters in general the best way to get them started and enter not entertained but um interested in handgun shooting and not to get overwhelming or uh, intimidating is to start with a very low caliber with very low recoil the best thing in my opinion for that is a 22 pistol so what i like to do or what i did let's say is i got a 22 pistol that matched my everyday carry which is a smith and wesson 22 uh, matches my smith and wesson m p shield nine millimeter so ryan's going to bring you over here and show you the two guns so i've got both of them they've both been cleared no bullets in there we've got the mags next to each of them um i mean can you tell the difference of which one's a 22 and which one's a nine millimeter not really they're both about the same size i mean here i'm gonna lock this one down Oop. Eh. and we're gonna lock that one down so if you see side by side you got your thumb safety here that's one of the main differences but look 22 is just a little bit longer but as far as and the grip is a little bit longer as well but i mean all in all they are practically identical same gun right there one's nine millimeter one's 22. so what we're going to do now is we're going to load up the 22 we're going to take a couple shots i'm going to set up a target so we'll be back here in just a second we're going to take a few shots just to see how this thing shoots so we're going to put the clip in and we will be back here in just a few minutes all right guys so we've gone ahead and put up the target just here on the side of a dirt mound um we got a little backing we're only shooting 22 so we don't need anything too crazy we're only shooting about 10 feet so we've got decent back wall for that so the other thing like i said is it's the same as my everyday carry so it fits right in my holster right so that makes it a lot nicer too so what we're going to do is i'm going to put my ears on and we're going to take a couple shots see how it shoots this is the first time i've shot this gun so we are going to see how it does ryan you ready yep good I'm gonna go ahead my shooting was probably terrible but it feed it fed well very little recoil good for a starter so we're gonna go take a look at my terrible grouping and uh, then I'm gonna let Ryan shoot it as you can see my grouping is not very good as I was aiming here and I was shooting down here so we got to work on that a little bit but first shots out of it I mean I can't complain it's good for training and just kind of get a feel of the gun. So, Ryan, you ready? Let's go load this thing up and uh, let you shoot a little bit, okay? I don't want to trash talk too much, but you suck. <laughs> All right. All right, so you said my shooting sucks, so we're going to see if you do any better. So, You're going to humiliate me, but let's see. All right, so there's mine. I was shooting a little low. I mean, I kept them all right around the right wheelhouse, but they're a little low, but he said I suck. So we're going to see how good he does. They're gonna humiliate me, but let's see. All right, you know how to cock it? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna stand right here. It's about 10 feet. There's that. So we're handing, see how we're handing this over? No fingers on the trigger. It's not. And we're handing it over, it's unloaded. All right, hold on, let me get my ears on. Keep your finger off that trigger. Do not flip it up or anything like that, because a lot of that, I mean, that's right, an accident that waiting to happen. To Keep it down at the ground with your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. And when you're ready to shoot, you bring it up. Keep your thumbs and everything away from the back slide. Okay. That. Hold on. Okay, grip, good grip. Slide. Do you have a good hold on it? Yeah. Okay, just kind of keep that right there. All right, go ahead whenever you're ready. Did 
out. You're jammed. Out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I know it's jammed. You got it. You got a jam. You have it. How do you deal with the jam? Hold that. All right. Tell us, how do you deal with the jam? So you're going to pop out the clip. I just put that in my pocket. See how wheelhouse there? Look, 22s are notorious for that. All right, so now it's down. There's the jam. That bullet is destroyed. Yeah, I wouldn't trust that anymore. All right, that's clear. Just want to make sure there was nothing in that barrel. All right, right yeah, you shoot, don't want that backfire. Okay, let me shoot the next one just in case. All right. You ready? Yep. Just finish them up. I'm going to shoot top, left, okay? All right. this we're gonna have to change the sight a little bit because i'm shooting way low look at this hey at least i hit the target mm -hmm. see i hit the center yeah. so i got the first one there but the other two right there so so we're shooting low i think i'm gonna bring these down just a little bit look i also pierced one of your shots right there nice. yeah i'm better <laughs> all right we're gonna try that let me Let's see, where'd that 22 go? The 22, yeah. the bullet dropped about over here. Yeah. Right here. All right. Yeah. So look, that's one thing. See how that bent? Oh, that's not good. That's a stove stove pipe. That, I mean, that's probably the worst I've ever seen. Oh so God. That's not, not good. That's close to impact as well. Yeah. See how it got right here. Oh, yeah. but it just bent. That's that a thing lot of over. damage. Yep. All right, so we've got it ready to go. Ryan's coming over here to the target with the gun holding it down to the ground, keeping it safe. And I'm going to get behind him before he is ready. All right, you can go ahead and get yourself ready. Grab it with the other hand. There you go. Take your time. Ryan. Hold it right. I felt better with the better grip like that. Hold on. What happened? Did you get another stove? Probably another oh. dead. All right. Same thing. Down. Clear. It, it failed to eject that time. Okay. So we'll probably need to run another clean through it. But we'll keep going with this. You need to put one in there. Okay. I know. All right. The thing I like about the 22 is how easily you can just cock back the gun. Yeah. It kind of feels like a Nerf gun in a way. <laughs> well, it's definitely not. <laughs> no, no, it's no, like the slide back. Yeah, I know. Okay, hold on. Hold on, you're cocked back again. Another one, another, another jam, another failure to feed. All right, we're gonna run this back and run a cleaner through it real quick. And uh, I'll show you guys how to do that. Because this is a new gun. It has not been broken in yet. So we're gonna have to run a few cleans through it before it starts running good. I'll hit it with some oil too. Um, Probably after like two or three mags and he's a clean. All right, so that's why I brought all my cleaning stuff. So I've already got this wet this is my snake you can get snakes they're um per caliber you yeah, generally one snake will work for a few different calibers this one's for m16 22 to two, uh, 225 so you just slide that through and then you pull it through and then clean it up okay so this thing is empty there's no shells in it no clip in it i'm going to run it through one more time Okay, and then we're gonna just hit it with a little rim oil. We're gonna... Now that should hopefully fix the problem. My turn. All right, you ready to finish these up? 
Me. Yep. There you go. All right, so Ryan's gonna go ahead and try to finish them up here. Hopefully we won't have any more failures. Ryan, when you're when you're holding, you're, you're like as stiff as a board. Put one foot, put one of your feet, whichever's comfortable, a little bit ahead, kind of lean into it, like lean forward into it. Put your fo foot a little bit forward if you, if you want. All right, see? Now kind of lean into it. Is that come more comfortable? Yep. Usually, uh, what I uh, was seeing with the uh, 22 is on the last shot, you don't feel the kickback as much. Yeah, it, that, that's what I felt that shot at least. So I had very, a feeling. very low recoil. That's why it's good for beginners and people just starting yeah. out. But I had a feeling, so that's Where why. Where were you shooting at? Shooting at the middle, aim down there, but I was also kind of shaky, so it okay. hit up yeah, there. So doing good. All right. See, so, I'm doing good as good enough grouping yeah. as you. And I've been shooting for less, uh, for a lot less. All right, so we're gonna do something a little special here. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this right here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you this right here is my 357, and we've got a snake shot in there or buck shot. This this is good. The snake shot is good for when you're walking out in this stuff here, and you run into a snake. This thing will take it. So it's a, it's a it's a good protection for those lizard style creatures. You don't want to go bird hunting with it. But does it shoot like a shrapnel shot? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna shoot right towards the middle here. Actually, we're gonna shoot we're gonna shoot at the bottom. No, we're gonna shoot to the middle. All right. So stay behind me. Okay. Ready? Go. See all those BBs? That's where I hit. But look at that entry hole, that's huge. But these are all the BBs around it, okay? That's so crazy. The nice thing about that is for um, snakes, you're not gonna miss them. That's why we carried around for snake shot. All right, guys, so I uh, hope you enjoyed what we did today. Uh, we had a lot of fun. You know, Ryan really enjoyed shooting the uh, 22 today and learned how to shoot a pistol. Uh, we definitely have some more work to do, uh, but that is, that's the name of the game. It takes uh, time and practice just like with anything else. But if you like what we did today and if you're looking to get into shooting or hunting, you know, you got to connect with me. I can show you how to do it. We'll come out here. We'll do the shooting. We can do the hunting. I mean, we got 200 plus acres right here that we can come out and hunt on. Uh, seen some good tracks over here. So I, I'm staying hopeful that we're going to have a good season this year. So uh, best way to contact me is that is paul at sizzlingarrow.com. You can sign up for the membership at www.sizzlingarrow.com. That is free. You get a newsletter, recipes, and then you keep up with up-to-date things that we're doing. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because that really helps us out to get the word out there and to help more people get into the wonderful sport we call hunting and fishing and just to get you outdoors and also learn how to make those tasty meals at home for your friends and family. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys back here next time. Thanks a lot and make sure you like and subscribe. Take care.